Hey y'all, this is Karen Peters with RenovatedFaith.com and I am doing a post that I have waited so long to do. I spent a small fortune on over two dozen different furniture paints and I have tested them all side by side. And because I like to analyze things to death, I have all the information uh, ready in my blog post so that you can decide which is your favorite furniture paint. Now, because I'm a little bit partial, we all are to certain paints, I decided to do this as a blind test so that my preferences would not in any way affect the results. So you'll see here, there are some uh, more traditional like latex paints that might be used on cabinets also. That's because good cabinet paint is also good furniture paint. You'll see that I have Dixie Bell Fusion Silk uh, Rust-Oleum Chalked, uh, Retique It, Inspired by You, Annie Sloan Chalk Paint, Bear, uh, 24 different brands to give you an idea of what they have to offer and uh, where they stack up against one another. So first I'll tell you a little bit about how I tested each one of the paints. For the first test, I tested coverage. Probably one of the most important aspects of a good paint is how well it covers per coat. So I did two coats of paint over this black line and the paints that showed the black line the least after two coats had the best coverage. I also used this test to test the smoothness with a brush and did the same coverage test again to check how the paint rolled on. So I was able to test smoothness not only with a brush but also with a roller. After painting 24 different samples on the boards, I let the paint dry for a full 30 days so that it could cure and reach maximum hardness. Then I rated the paints by their coverage and smoothness both with the brush and the roller. I also tested each paint to see which one levels the best. In other words, which ones will level out smoothly over an uneven surface. And the uneven surface I'm using is the back of one of my oak cabinets, which has a very open, rough grain. I also took this opportunity to test the stainability of different paints with tomato sauce, coffee, and mascara. And you can see the full results of the staining test in the blog post. The most telling test, however, was the one where I put waterproof mascara. For this test, I'm testing scrubability. And by that, I mean, I wanna be able to scrub off all the mascara without scrubbing off some of the paint. And you'll see later in the testing, I actually used a black uh, washcloth to see if any of the white paint wiped off. And the results really varied and it was really telling to see which paint was most scrubbable. Last, I tested each paint to see which ones held up best when having a cold drinking glass sit on them for 48 hours. After compiling the data for all 24 paints, Benjamin Moore Advanced came out as the overall top pick with Bear's Cabinet and Trim Enamel as the best budget pick and the best splurge option was inspired by U's pigmented coatings. Now on the blog post, I've also included my top pick for the best chalk paint for furniture, chalky finish paint for furniture, and the fastest drying paint, my favorite Sherwin-Williams option, and several other categories. But most of all, like I said, don't forget to look at the data and just see which is the best paint for you, maybe for your next furniture project. It's not about which one I think is the best, it's which one works best for you, your project, and your budget. So be sure to check out the blog post at renovatedfaith.com.